Okay, so um, here is what I think these uh, factory calibration values do or how to use them. Um, yeah, this is all based on uh, a post by Alan Yates on uh, the Vive subreddit and unfortunately no f no mathematical stuff no formulas or uh, something like that just texts and uh, therefore uh, therefore i hope i uh, i get these right here especially curve and gib phase i'm not really sure about these two but uh, yeah we'll see okay so uh, let's assume this uh, white box here is the field of view of a uh, base station so uh, yeah, basically, let, let's assume this is a the base station is a camera, and this is uh, its image. So it would look maybe something like this. This is uh, the floor. This is a corner. This is uh, okay. This is the ceiling. Maybe here's another base station. Maybe here's uh, an HMD. This is. Uh, this is you, tracking dots, uh, tracking sensors here. And uh, yeah, so, but we, we know that it isn't a camera actually. It is a scanner, a laser scanner. It does something like this. It scans it, uh, the room in one direction and then in the other direction. And each time the laser hits one of these little sensors, um, the receiver board in there can calculate the angle based uh, or, or uh, yeah, the, the angle from the starting point of the laser from basically minus 60 degrees down here. Minus 60 because it's 120 double of uh, 60. Okay, so um, what's the problem? The problem is this line here is not really that straight. It's not really um, where you think it would be, it's maybe faster or slower than you think it is, and these are these parameters here. So let's start phase. Phase is just a constant offset, like maybe this. And this, uh, this orange line here is where the base station thinks the laser should be at the moment. And if the base station thinks it should be there, Obviously, the light, the, the receiver also thinks it should be uh, it should be there, because the base station, if the laser is down here, sends out the blink impulse, the flash, the light flash, and uh, the timers in the receiver are synchronized to that. So, um, yeah, also, yeah, which leads to the problem that uh, once the laser hits, for example, this sensor here, the the receiver will put that sensor down here on this line because it thinks the laser is here and not up there because of this phase offset. Also could be in the other direction. So basically this would make you a bit shorter, a bit smaller. Um, yeah, same problem here, of course, same sensor. This would move you a bit to the left from seen from us. And uh, yeah. This is just a constant offset, just pretty easy to to correct, just subtract it or maybe add it. I'm not sure about these uh, signs of them, uh, of these values. Next one, tilt. And tilt is pretty, pretty easy. It's just this, tilt of the laser line. Um, this can happen if, um, so lasers usually output a dot, not a line and uh, you, you have to put a lens in front of that. And if the lens is not really aligned with the rotation direction, so not a 90 degree angle between rotation direction or movement direction of the laser and the uh, actual um, um, yeah, line direction, then something like this can happen. And the problem with that is, if you maybe look at um, these two sensors here, this one and this one, they get hit at the same time, which to the receiver, looks like they are on this line, at the, uh, on this horizontal line. And uh, which basically means the headset is, move, is, is rotated a bit around this uh, point. And uh, this might be a mismatch then between what this base station tells the HMD and what the, this base station tells the HMD and that can cause problems. 
So this also has to be taken into account. Then uh, curve, the next one. And curve can also happen by a misaligned lens, but misaligned in the other direction. So this is what it looks like, I hope. So uh, I've just used a, um, a, a quadratic function here. And uh, so the problem is if the lens is tilted a bit to, to the floor or to the ceiling, if its normal vector is not aligned with uh, with the radius vector of the rotor, if I uh, get that correctly. Again, same problem as with tilt or with face. These dots, uh, these sensors just get triggered in some time where they shouldn't be triggered and uh, that could cause problems. And uh, it's especially bad out here and out here. And uh, yeah. Also, of course, you can combine these. So uh, you can build some nice curves like this and so on. So uh, these were the first three. Then uh, the next, next two belong together. And they describe a periodic um, offset that is added to this direction. So basically like, a f like the phase offset, but not constant, but periodic in uh, 2 pi, which is 360 degrees. So one rotation, one tau. Um, exactly. So mag is the magnitude and phase is a phase offset. Um, basically, if I, if I move this one up, you will see that it, it actually is moving faster. The real line is moving faster than the ideal line. If I put it, if I uh, have a, a negative value here, you will see that the, uh, the, the, the actual, the real laser line is slower than uh, the ideal laser line. And I can also change the phase angle. So maybe if I put it here, you will see that I'm not starting at zero because well, sine of zero is zero but I'm starting somewhere different. I mean, I'm just changing this uh, zero starting point of the sign uh, offset with the face here. And these two are just some measured parameters, so values. Uh, they are a combination of misalignment of lens and what uh, a laser and, uh, air and a mirror and so on. So, yeah, just some stuff to correct for. Looks like this. Sign. Okay. And uh, if you combine all these, you can get something like this and something like this. And yeah, as you might guess, this is uh, this is then a bit hard for the the receiver to actually get some meaningful data out of that. Okay, but in reality, it's not that bad. So uh, actual real values look like this. This is uh, from one of my uh, base stations. And uh, as you can see here, for example, this is an actual phase uh, offset. You can see a, a bit of curvature. I'm not sure if you can actually see it in the video, but it's there, I, I guess. And But it doesn't really change that much with the angle. Uh, in this case, it does actually in the red, in the J direction, you, you can see some, um, you can see the distance getting bigger here, for example, or basically on the whole line, it's bigger than here. So this would be the eccentricity, uh, but it's not that, it's not really visible. But keep in mind, this is a what this is 120 by 120 degrees and you have to measure really small angles, tiny angles, and uh, then it, it, it can make a difference, these little changes here. So uh, this is why um, these uh, factory calibration values can come in handy to anyone uh, trying to track something using Lighthouse. And yeah, so I hope at least some of this is correct. Um, again, curve, 
and gib phase i'm not sure if this is a quadratic function and this if this is zero at uh, the middle and uh, also all the the signs could be plus or minus and uh, not really sure so uh, yeah this is what i what i sh i think how it it could work <laughs>